and Brian Hendricks. We're going to remove the whiskers on their bobcat skin here now because we want to get to turning the muzzle and the lips and stuff. So first we've got to get rid of those whiskers or we're going to. Um, I've got a chunk of oil clay here that I took and drew some lines in that represent the nose and the four lines that the whiskers are in. So I typically just pluck them and put them into a Ziploc bag and label it. Uh, but I think for starters this might be handy for a lot of people to pluck the whiskers and stick them into the clay and then you can uh, you can always you know, press the number of the job or whatever animal it is right into the clay and keep that until you're ready to put them back in if, if you're concerned about not getting them in back into the right spots. So I'm going to try to pull these out in lines, okay, kind of as they are. Okay, I've been plucking these whiskers out and putting them in the clay there. I'm going to pluck these last couple out and put them in the clay. Hard to see here. There we go. Okay, we've got them all plucked out. There's a few little ones in there yet. I'm not going to worry about those. Um, I'm mostly interested in the prominent ones. At this point, they're all out. Um, we put them in this clay. I'll hold it up here where you can kind of see what's going on. Uh, there's where we drew the lines and everything, put them in there. And I'm going to tip that up so you can kind of see how many there are on each side. I see the its left side has a one big prominent one on there. Just kind of look at those before you go to put them back in. If you're if they're a lot heavier on one side than the other side, just even them out before you put them back in. You know, and so like I say, you got them in lines now, so you can kind of see how they go back in. That's the whiskers 